Now it's time for the Coach Penny Hardaway Show, presented by Cook's Best Control. The show is supported by your local Toyota dealer. Visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Subway, make it what you want. And AutoZone. For parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. Welcome in. A very sloppy day it has been. Uh, but uh, it's, it turned out to be a pretty good week. You lose to a team that is ranked, but you come back in a game that you had to win and had to be tough at the end. You were able to do that. I am with the coach, who's very calm. It's a little different than what I saw yesterday, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, and congratulations on the W yeah. uh, at FedEx yesterday. Yeah, thanks. A much-needed W that, um, that we've been looking for for the last week. Uh, haven't had a lot of success on the road and then lost a tough game to Cincinnati at home. But the bounce back yesterday was a good feeling, and hopefully this starts us on another win streak. Well, if we, if we start, you'll see all about the Cincinnati game and, of course, the game yesterday against UConn. But you talked before that game and really after the Cincinnati game about toughness because that was a game that could have gone Memphis's way. Unfortunately, it did not. Can you instill toughness in a team late in the year? You can try, but it's tough. You know, the guys have to make up in their minds that they want to do it, that they want to do the tough things, that they, that they want to do all the small things that are going to help us win. And it seems like the teams that are successful in this league are doing it. Cincinnati, Houston, UCF, you know, to a certain extent, but definitely Cincinnati and Houston. They're doing the tough things, and we have to be willing to do that. But to answer your question, it has to be, in the, it has to be inside of them. And, and interestingly enough, those are the only teams that you mentioned that are winning on the road. Yeah, well, I mean, it's easy. You know, though, the intensity of the, of the teams of Cincinnati and Houston at home and on the road is way higher than the teams that aren't winning on the road. So, I mean, it's just, that's, how it, that's how it's been. You made the decision before the Cincinnati game, going to go with seniors. And, and really, Martin, who is on a roll again this week, and Davenport, who had a double-double against Cincinnati in 26 yesterday, he, those two are really coming through for you. Yeah, well, they're the two leading scorers from last year. You know, we expect that from them. We need the supporting cast to, you know, to get better. Uh, Kareem Bruton, we need to get him back in a, uh, in a good rhythm. We've got to get Tyler Harris going more. Uh, Antoine Jones, we need him desperately because we need his talent. And uh, if we can just get the supporting cast to do what they need to do, Alex Lomax defensively, you know, doing the things that we know that he can do. So, I mean, we need those guys totally uh, to be together because, you know, the seniors, the two seniors, Jeremiah and Keevan, are doing well. Thornton really played a good role yesterday as well. We'll take a look coming up at all the highlights. You're going to like that. And then on Inside Access, it'll be... Jeremiah Martin talking about that 41 points and a half, and then the Autos on Road ahead is truly on the road. A stop in Greenville, North Carolina, and a stop in Orlando. Two games that could go a long way for the Tigers. There's Mike Parks with authority, and we'll uh, take a look at the bruising game with Cincinnati when we come back to the Penny TV show. You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. Welcome back in. Thanks for joining us. We talked last week about the rivalry with Cincinnati, and here we go again. You and, and your battles with Coach Finch, and now Nick Cronin, who's been around for 13 years. He's got a team that was just ranked in the top 25, and this one was a great battle. You start off with toughness in the very beginning of this game. Yeah, well, we knew with Cincinnati what, what we were going to expect. We knew that they were going to play tough. The only thing, we knew they were going to play tough for 40 minutes. We had to do the same thing, and uh, we started off the game the way that we needed to and just couldn't sustain. You made the decision you were going to go with the seniors the rest of the way. They come out delivering. There, there's Jeremiah Martin. I believe that's his 18,003 in a row going <laughs> back from the game in Tampa. And he just continues to play so well. Yeah, we want to continue to, uh, to get him that rhythm uh, that he had in that, uh, in that South Florida game. Um, he didn't have as many shots yesterday as I would like him to, so we got to get back to get him, getting the ball in his hands because he's playing beautiful basketball on the defensive end and on the offensive end. You guys did a great job in this first half against Cincinnati when you build the lead here of turning them over and finding the guys inside. A lot of shared buckets. But a lot of transitional stuff because of turnovers 10 times in the first half. Yeah, we had it going. We knew that we could turn them over. We put the pressure on them and, uh, and got after them and changed the tempo into our favor. And uh, turned them over and got out on fast breaks. As you can see, Mike Parks with that great dunk off of a fast break. So we knew that we had to do that going into the game. You're doing a great job against them in the paint. 
Uh, and they struggled. They shot 39% in this game. Your defense was pretty good throughout. I mean, they had moments against pick and roll in the second half kind of hurt you. Yeah, that, that pick and roll uh, situation, uh, it really hurt us. I think they got like six to eight points off of that. And uh, other than that, though, we won every, every other category. I mean, we were, we were in the game and had the game won. And just kind of for like a three or four minute span, just kind of all let it flutter away. And Keevan Davenport, again, a double-double, his 12th of the year. And he does it against good teams. He played great against Tennessee, and he played great against this team, both ranked. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be he's trying to take his game to the next level when he's playing these, these, these top-level teams. It's just the smaller teams that he's not getting up for. So hopefully we'll, we'll get this out of him on the road at ECU as well. Well, there he is again, and then you saw Big Mike. And Big, Big Mike, I thought, played his best game of the year in this contest. Uh, Bruton stays with it. He showed toughness there. You saw Cumberland before. He is their bread and butter guy. Uh, that was a nice move by Kane Broom, who came into the game in the second half. But here you are, still hanging around, and there's one of the few offensive rebounds you got in this game. Yeah, uh, Mike Parks, actually, we had seven offensive rebounds. Mike Parks had six of them. I mean, we told him that most of the time they're going to switch a small onto him, and if our guard shot the ball, that he should have that rebound in position and get those offensive rebounds, and he did a great job of that. Still up six. Uh, and, and still playing with intensity there is Antoine Jones. What have you got to get out of him? We got to get the playmaking ability back. We got to get his mind right. I mean, he's a talented, he's a, like I said, he's our most talented guard out of the freshman as far as his size, his playmaking, his outside shooting. Uh, he's just not affecting the game in the, in, the, in the fashion that we need him to. And there's a freshman, Logan Johnson, who makes that play. Martin still equal to the task here. And uh, he ends up with a, another spectacular game, which got him on the honor roll. Yeah, I mean, Jeremiah, I mean, he's playing as good as anyone in our conference right now. You know, our record doesn't indicate how well he's been playing lately. We've lost some games where he's had big numbers, but we need the supporting cast to come on with it. And, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll get some better, uh, some better opportunities uh, later on in, in the season to get more wins with that with, with a spectacular play. And there's your story in the game right there. Even though Martin hits that big one, Second chances for the Bearcats really did the Tigers in. That and Cumberland, and, and look at how tough he is. And he is one of the premier players in the league. If you breathe on him too hard, he's going to get the call. Yeah, well, he's a guy that understands his game. You know, he's a, he's a triple threat guy. If you, if you back up off of him, he's going to make, he's going to shoot the jumper. If he gets to the basket, he's strong enough to hit you with his body and still finish. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a leader. He was the leader in that one, and, and it was a nice little discussion with Mick Cronin, and I know you said, we're going to get you one of these days. Yeah, Mick has done a great job. He's been there 13 years. He's figured this thing out. He understands what's going on, and I'm the rookie in the game, and uh, I'm fighting and scrapping uh, to try to learn how, how things work, and like you said, eventually, it'll be I, our time to get I, I absolutely can't wait for that. Uh, that was the first game of the week, so you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number 25 team in the country. Coming up next... The old rival UConn, and that series is very close, and now you had to get tough because this is a must win for postseason. You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. Chance to try to get the week to even. And you know, that's what I love about you, Penny. You're very honest. You even said to everybody, if we're going to get a first season, we got to win this game. So you put pressure on your team. Well, hey, I wanted to put the pressure on our teams. We put ourselves in a bad situation by losing uh, the last four out of five and three in a row. We had to have this team, uh, this game at home. Davenport, uh, right off the bat, and good, uh, well, usually there have been some pretty good defense. And what I liked about in, in this game was you get the fast start. This one gets closer at the end. There is pressure on. We talked about toughness. I thought you saw that from your team. Yeah, we, we had a chance to close the game out a couple times in the first half and early in the second half and didn't. Uh, UConn made a good run, but like you, said, like you said, we showed toughness to finish the game off and not let them come back and win. I like to see that big guy shoot that three. He was very proficient in junior college. He struggled here a little bit. He was on at moments yesterday, and there's Tyler Harris. And here's what I like about Tyler Harris. He has figured out that if he doesn't have the shot outside, he doesn't need to go all the way to the whole mid-range game. Well, we've been working on that in practice with him, that he has enough ability 
to get by people to make plays for his teammates. Don't just settle for the three, and he's starting to do a better job of that. And as far as Isaiah Maurice, we need him to shoot more threes because he's one of our better three-point shooters. So you kept building leads here. You have doubled them. It was 12-6, 14-7. Finally, it's going to be 24-12, and you look like you are in complete control. And that's a pretty shot right there, and he can do it all. Yeah, Omar well, Keevan is a uh, is, is a is a great all-around player. He hasn't been playing well of lately, but we need him to continue to play like this. He doesn't have to score 26 tonight. He just has to be aggressive every night, and that gets us in a winning situation. Every time they get a little closer, somehow you pull away, and boy, you played great defense in this game early, too. Yeah, well, we came out with the right mindset because we knew that it was a desperation game, and like I said, we're just not being able to, to you know, get this going for 40 minutes, to sustain it for 40 minutes. We, that's what we have to get to next. We're doing it for 20, 25, maybe 30, but we're not doing it for the entire game. You, uh, you came out smoking to start the second half. Nine nothing run, build a 16 point lead. And Davenport's going crazy. Great plays. We had a dunk off the backboard. We'll get a great follow dunk by Renee Thornton here in, in a little bit. I thought your passing in this game was spectacular. The one bugaboo is rebounding again. And they out rebounded you. 24 to 8 in the second half. Yeah, and we know this. I mean, we worked on it and we had sure it up because we had been out rebounding teams over the last two or three weeks, but it just seems like at some point during the game, the guys mental they just they just kind of go south. They don't they don't continue to think about what we're doing, our game plan, discipline, and teams get back into the game and then we start taking bad shots, which are like turnovers. Well, there there's one of the few offensive rebounds you had in the second half. Thornton had a couple of them. And he is, you know, I like to say he's the glue guy on this team, but he was important, and there's your score. Yeah, I mean, Ray is a guy that we just need to rebound the basketball and be an energy guy first and foremost over everything. And, uh, you know, when he does that, we're a much better team. And when we share the ball like this, we're a much better team as well. well the crowd loved that, and, you know, I loved I'm watching Tyler Harris now really become more of a full-service player. We talked mid-range game. How about some of those passes? Yeah, he's shown that in practice a lot, and, I, and I'm, I'm begging Tyler for that side of his game because, you know, he really wants to shoot the threes. He wanted to shoot the threes earlier. Now he's starting to understand, hey, I can affect the game in other ways, and he's doing so. I give a lot of credit to Danny Hurley, despite all the crazy antics that he had and his top two players out of this game. Look at how they keep creeping back into this thing, and that's a clutch play there. Yeah, they made, they made shots um, when they had to make shots. And like you said, Coach Hurley had those guys really fired up and wanting to win. They knew that they were down their two best players, but they still competed at a high level, and uh, that was a huge shot by Tyler Harris in that corner. It was a set play, and he knocked it down. And there's the putback that we saw. This ice is pretty much the game. Martin's going to make some free throws. He's catching you. He's only six away from catching you on the all-time scoring list. And I know when you uh, were talking with Dan Hurley after the game, he goes, this is the first of a bunch because you both have some recruiting classes that are top-notch. Yeah, absolutely. Danny, Danny and I are both competitors. Uh, he's a little more animated than I am on the sideline. I can say just a little. Uh, <laughs> but as far as, uh, you know, Jeremiah, I mean, what a great accomplishment, you know, for four years. This is his fourth year, and uh, I'm glad that he's being rewarded individually we want to reward him as a team and get to the NCAA tournament for him because he's never been there but yeah overall just everything that's happening right now for the team uh, and Jeremiah is a great thing and we just got to keep getting everybody on the same keeping everybody on the same page and this robbery with Connecticut it's gonna be big for years to come I can't wait to see how all this will unfold so Martin does make the honor roll but he doesn't make the Cooks pest control player of the week I think for the first time this is Keevan Davenport double double against Cincinnati 26 points against the Huskies just say welcome back Keevan you know he was playing really well at one point in one stretch and then he kind of three or four games he just went south and then now he's back so we want to keep him on this level because every game now is, is desperation coming up a little inside access Jeremiah Martin went crazy down in Tampa 41 in the second half. He'll talk about that when we return to the Penny Hardaway TV show. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of Learfield IMG College. You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. 
Welcome back in. Time for a little inside access. 41 points in a game. That's the sixth most in Tiger history. How about Jeremiah Martin doing that in a half? He reflects upon that accomplishment. I talked about it with my mom and stuff, and uh, I mean, it's been great, but you know, uh, like I said, I wanted to get the win. It's just, it's good, like, you know, reward for myself, I can say. I never really got a chance to score that many points, but uh, I mean, we still got more of the season. We had lost, but I wish we would have, you know, beat those guys. I just got to take my hat off of Coach Penny. Uh, like, he uh, really just give me the confidence and just tell me, like, to go because he feels like no one. Uh, to stand in front of me and he just tell me to play my game. It'll be great for me, you know, because uh, I want to experience it. Like, like everybody that tell me they've been, they say it's a great experience, uh, best, best basketball uh, going on throughout the whole year. Everybody watching you, so it'll be great. Like, everybody is on the same page. With it. Like, we all know, but uh, we got to fix our, uh, we got to fix to get, fix this first, though. Like, we got to win and do things the right way to even be uh, thinking about going to the tournament. When he scored those 41, he came to talk to us on the radio. Like, he was bummed out because he lost the game, and that's what you want to see. Yeah, absolutely. He's a competitor and a winner. I mean, the accomplishment was unbelievable, but the loss was even worse, especially when we got down 27-1. to But that just shows his heart because he got into foul trouble in the first half, and I had to sit him the entire first half. He went into halftime and tried to rally the troops, but he rallied it himself first, and he came out and scored 41 points, which was phenomenal. Unbelievable. Three shots the first half, 17 when you gave him the green light in the second. We take a break. When we come back, it is on the road. The AutoZone Road Ahead is next. You're watching the Coach Benny Hardaway Show. We've got two games this week on the AutoZone Road Ahead, and both of them are absolutely on the road. The good news is you've beaten both of these teams that we will play. We'll start in Greenville, North Carolina, in that little gym. Six o'clock Wednesday night, and they've struggled. They had a game one yesterday uh, and on the road and, and lost. Uh, and that was to South Florida. So this team is, is really going to want this win. They've lost eight of nine. Yeah, they haven't been uh, playing well at all. But yesterday, like you said, I watched the game after our game at South Florida. Had them beat, went to overtime, and ended up losing. But uh, they're still competing. You know, they, uh, Coach Dooley is not going to allow them to quit. You know, and those guys are fighting really hard. And when they came here, I think they had like a 16-point lead on us in the first half, and they were very confident against us. So they're going to be very confident again with us coming in. They still got that freshman, Jaden Gardner, too, who could be the freshman of the year. And then in Orlando, you beat these guys by 20. They are not happy at all. They just won on the road last night against SMU. So mm -hmm. winning in Dallas, we know, is not easy. And that's with Taco Fall and uh, uh, B.J. Taylor, who's the preseason player of the year. Yeah, well, you know, that was one of our best games this year, probably our second best game besides the SMU game at home, the UCF game, because we, we, we planned uh, to get Taco Falls out of the game, and the game plan worked perfectly, and then also held Dawkins and Taylor under their average. So that was a, a plan that was, that was great for us, and that, uh, the guys went out and ex executed it well. Uh, let's hope they execute on the road. we got to see that and that toughness you've talked about. So two on the road, and then right back here a week from tonight. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show, presented by Cook's Pest Control. The show is supported by your local Toyota dealer. Visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Subway, make it what you want. And AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. This has been a presentation of Learfield IMG College.